you really think this thing's gonna work out? What? Having this as the bedroom? No, no, no. The whole thing, like, moving here. It's the sunny side of the street, Jack. No, sharing with E. Come on, it could be worse. It'll be fun. Yeah. As long as she doesn't hum, or whistle, or sing, or prance around naked. <laughs> Jeez, Jack, you're such a people person. Hey, did you see my new zine? Pretty Ugly, issue seven. What's it about this time? Us. You know, a week in Marrickville. Everyday life is art. Sure this thing works? Well, it helps if you put petrol in it. Got any money? No. No, sorry, I don't have anything. Think we'll make it? Probably not. Should we apples, mate? Yeah. Put this on. Filmmaker. Filmmaker? Played junior soccer for over ten years. Don't call myself a soccer player anymore. Anyway, all my unemployed friends are trying to be filmmakers. Last time my funding got rejected wasn't just because my ideas were crap. They said I was, quote, aggressive working class, unquote. Hey, don't get too relaxed. We've got to go. So, E, eh? why aren't we living here? You really want to live with my old man? Oh, he's nice enough. Yeah, he keep me out of home because I went to a march. Mardi Gras? Nah, the land rights rally. It was on his company's doorstep. Downstairs. The Ropers, George and Mildred. She had those fabulous slacks, and he had a budgie. Yeah. Well, you know Mildred. She's what's her name from the Eurythmics' real mother. No way. Youth for Joyce is Anna Lennox's mother. Oh. Yeah, it's true. It's on the net. Mm. Well, they do look alike. High tech trivia, information super cul-de-sac. Not all that bad. You just got to feel through it. It's a waste of time. I'd rather read a good book or visit the museum or something. Oh, yeah? When was the last time you did that, Jack? You're just scared of anything new and different. Face it, Jack. You're a lackadaisical neo-Luddite. <laughs> Laxadaisy. Laxadaisy. Don't know what that means, but I like that. <laughs> Footy, are we? I thought you said our sport was boring. All sport except soccer. Mm. That's right. Oh no, it's athletics one, aesthetics nil. Are you really going to sit up until 2 a.m. on Sunday to watch a soccer match? Well, it's not just soccer, it's World Cup football live from <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Great. Yes, yeah, good. Hold it there. What? Right now, in some remote village on the other side of the world, some poor bloke is doing this exact 
same thing. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? Meeting Joy at the garage. Oh. You want to come? No, I'm going to bed. Come on. Jack? Jack? Jack. Big chance. Oh, yeah. Mad for it. Smashing. Love to, <laughs> but... Uh, but I've got a big match to watch. No, too many shiny, happy people. Oh, come on, Kitty. I'll be your best friend. No, I don't go. I haven't got anything to wear. I'll just wear that, it looks good. Hey. Come on. Come. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh. God. Ah. Hopeless. So hopeless. Hopeless. Oh. Refuse to watch. Absolutely refuse to watch. I think you walk with you. No, I don't. I'm not going to walk around the nude, am I? Hey, who's nude? Hmm. Suave. Someone's stolen a razor. <laughs> don't look at me. No, don't look at me. Anyway, I just thought that now that I'm back on the economic scrap heap, I may as well look the part. You don't look the part. You're still wearing your granddad's funeral suit. Yeah, I think tramps look better in suits. I didn't think you were going to go to work today. Yeah, I've got to do some last minute stock taking. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. Finish work on Friday. Why? Long service. Nah, flexi time. <laughs> <laughs> got the sack. No, you got retrenched. You didn't get the sack. Schlem thing. No, it's not the Schlem thing. That's really sad. How come no one told me about it? Because it wasn't about you. And you didn't think you'd care. Well, I care a bit. So what happened? Do stuff up? Too many? Light, light lunches. Merrickville pause. Will you get paid out straight away? Unions are negotiating. Because I thought I could take some time off from the deli and we could go for a holiday. To the beach or the countryside or something. Uh. No, it won't be much. That doesn't matter. I can take my camera. Great. <laughs> Remember what happened last time we went bush? Search for crop circles. And the big detour because you wanted to drive the V-dub through Paris. We had fun. 
Then you want to take photos of the cows? <laughs> what are their names again? Miranda, Max and Priscilla. Hey, um, we could make a film on the road. You know, kind of indie flick, surf slash road movie. <laughs> I could be the star. It, it'll be a cult classic. Can I try? And you can't surf. And wanting to make a cult film is as sad as calling yourself an eccentric e. So we'll make an action film, you know, but like... An action film? Yeah, we'll just blow stuff up, man. <laughs> can't even afford film stock. You could buy a video. CD player. CDs. Hmm. Thought you were a chronic vinyl junkie. Oh, yeah, I am, but, you know, it's 98, not 68. Hey, we should get a cat, or a dog, or both. No, no pets. You have one in your last place. Well, Lazy Bones wasn't my cat. Oh, I miss old Lazy Bones. He was smart and handsome. What about a budgie? No. Hey, did I tell you about Dave in my philosophy class? Yeah, got scurvy. Right, well, he lives above the drum shop now and he's got two fruit bats. They're kind of cute. Maybe, does he want to move into the spare room? No, we're not that desperate. He's got a degree in Chinese medicine. Don't suppose you need a lift? Uh, no, I'm going to start working in the bathroom. Great. Decorating. Haven't got the bond back from your last place yet. Wasn't that badly burnt. Jack, take a seat. Just a shave, thanks, Vince. Got a big week ahead. It must look my best. Just a shave, huh? Long ways, uh, trained it again. <laughs> so they give you time off today. Been working too hard, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I do need a holiday. Good for you. You know, I haven't had the real holiday since I first came here. 32 years ago. <laughs> wow. Now you've been here longer than me. Have you ever noticed that butchers, quality butchers, are the happiest workers in the world? Why? I think it's some kind of primeval hunting thing. You know, 
Nowadays, they're the only people, apart from serial killers and mass murderers, who can really satisfy that killer instinct. An endless supply of flesh and blood. Quality butcher. I like that. Half a kilo of the best neck and giblets. Certainly, ma'am. I reckon I could do that. My friends, in the faces of the ugly, in the faces of the poor, in the faces of the disfigured, we see the very face of God. That's right, my friends. When the street light of life turns green, you must go. Go, go, go. My friends, reject the standards of the world, which see only the rich and the glamorous and worthy of attention. I like it. It's nice and peaceful, clean. It's classical. Yeah, but I want to do something more immediate, more found. Do you think I've just wasted the last few years of my life? Thanks a lot. No, you know what I mean. Like, like next door to the pizza joint, there's this spiffy new dental surgery. And the name on the plaque on the front wall is some guy I went to school with 10 years ago. He's a dentist. Do you want to be a dentist? No, but, you know, professional. If you do want to work, if you do, then you just have to accept that you'll end up liking what you do, not doing what you like. Woof, woof. And if you've got a vagina, you'll work for 80% pay. Bunny Road. Hey, um, did I still let you use a photocopier? Yeah, dead end jobs worth having if you can't use a copier. Excellent. You can copy my zine for me. Yeah, okay. Kit draw the pictures. A line, B line, C line. And she wrote a great Dada poem. One foul swoop. Hairy old chestnuts. Ku Klux Klan. Kama Sutra. Tidbits, yin and yang, and vice versa. Oh, and there's my three heroes. The three Naomi's. Wolf, Chomsky, Campbell. And your modest fashion spread. Glad you've decided to use your looks for good, not evil. Start in TV, then Lagerfeld, an Oscar, the Booker Prize, end up OBE. It's the bra burning lingerie model thing. No one could ever say you sold out. But I might have to copy these in black and white. That'll have to do, thanks. I'm going to need at least 30 copies. You should be doing this on a computer or something. I'm going to be a real geek girl. Gee, I'd love to get my hands on one. <laughs> hey, I can steal all the pens I want, but I don't think they're going to let me walk out with a Mac. How much are they? No, no, I like it the way it is. Lo-fi. Handmade. The medium's the message. Hmm. Oh, and it's got to have this nice green cover on it. Can you handle that? Yeah, but that's a uh, blue, not green. Oh, it's green. It's obviously green. Kit? Hmm, it's a kind of greeny, bluey, bluey green. 
Yeah, but it's blue. It's so not blue. and the decay of modern civilization goes something like this. Today, everyone plays eight ball pool. Small table, no fouls, no penalties, and you can shoot backwards. It's all very fast and simple. No skill, no tactics. Wham, bam, instant fun. But in the good old days, everybody played snooker. Snooker, a big table, rules, skill, tactics. Gotta be good to win. Slow, sophisticated and intelligent. Wooden. So, pool pretends to offer more freedom, but if you commit just one foul on the black, that's it. You lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Just wait a second. Um, excuse me, do you have any of those uh, Portuguese sun-dried tomatoes? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to call you back. Hunter! Kit! Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Mwah! with nothing, you know. And they take good money. <laughs> they learn that, but they don't learn the lingo. And they take out clothes. And do jobs. And our furniture. Mm-hmm. Oven cleaner. Yep. Dental dams. Mm. Russian caravan tea. Mm-hmm. Jack, you don't even know what English breakfast tea is. Hey, we were going to have a garage sale before we moved. If and when we find the fourth flatmate, they can't move in until we get rid of all that junk. You said you were going to help me. You weren't even going to go to work this week. Yeah, well, I want to leave a good impression. Yeah, I'm busy too. You know, now we're, we're paying for a room we're not even using. I'm paying the bank to keep my account open. And you're not even going to have an income. OK. OK. What? OK. I'll, I'll start looking for someone as soon as possible, OK? OK. Hi, kids. I'm ready. Hey, Jack. These are great. <laughs> you did colour, huh? Did 50 copies and nobody cared. Oh, yeah, I've got this for you, too. It's a start. They're gollywogs. <laughs> so? Well, I would never buy them. But Jack, now the PC backlash is on, we can say and do and eat what we want. Well, all I'm saying is that they're... Yummy. Well... Hmm. And I just thought in this day... Hey, look, you can nibble all the hair off. <laughs> You've got to listen to more talk back radio, Jack. Yeah, single mothers are ruining this country.
And now Kumquat the Great will effortlessly escape from this bag and these chains. Was that? The only reason it was really bad was because I only thought of it ten minutes before we went on. Yeah, and that's okay. If that's what you want to do, that's okay. Well, it's not really what I want to do. This date was pretty, pretty ugly. I think it's great. But I'm glad I'm not a budgie. I would have broken my neck by now. Hey, Jack, I thought, I thought you were a bit rude to E this evening, actually. I think you offended her. So be nice to her tomorrow, because it's her birthday. Did you get her anything? Hey, look, they're giving us different glasses. They must have run out of straws. I don't get the budgie mirror thing. Budgies fly into mirrors because they think it's a way out, and then they break their necks. Better eat it, it'll get cold. Baby. Open the window! Open the oh, window! Wait. Why didn't you open the window before? What are you doing? There's a big hairy spider on the car. Can you see anything? We think it might have gone through the crack there. No, nah, no sign of it. Is it clear? I can't see it. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> hey, how was the festival? Yeah, it was pretty good. Saw this really cool film all about hair. John of Arc, Madonna, Medusa, Sinead, Rapunzel, Mary, Sigourney, that chick from Breathless. That's my idea. My better hair. A film about ordinary people and their hair. Remember I told you about that idea? Yeah. Toothbrush, find your own. Hey, a mud coming to the anti car thing? Or isn't it rock enough for him? Dirt will never sell out. Dirt? Oh, they were called mud, but now they're dirt. Oh, great. So when they're famous, you can say they were so much better when their name was mud. <laughs> you should come see him. Yeah, I'd like to meet Joey. Cool. They don't play too often. Joey's dad's a greengrocer. Doesn't matter how good you are, you'll only be cool as long as you stay poor and go nowhere. Sometimes you can hear the frogs. Oh, 
Oh, well, not today. You know, you could have saved us a packet. You could have booked this holiday for us. Mum, I'm not a travel agent. I work for the Tourist Bureau. Oh. Thought they were the same. They're not. done that myself. When are you going to buy a place of your own? Oh, I'm, um... Or at least live somewhere nice, with a washing machine. Well, if I had a washing machine, I wouldn't get to visit you so often, would I? Oh, yeah, right. by some idiot in the car. Oh. Show us your tits. No, act your age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's your friend, hey? Oh, he's not a friend, that's just Brett. Borrowed his camera. He's got a massive IQ. He's got six toes on one foot. He works as a postman and he loves it. Hmm. He looks happy. Yeah, but look at his hair. Such a loser try-hard. Well, I don't know. What's worse, trying too hard or not trying at all? Could I have another tea, please? And I'll have a strong flat white, thanks. And, yeah, hungry? Want to share a focaccia? And a strong salami focaccia, cheers. Oh, it's a vegetarian cafe. Oh, um, oh, just a veg I want, thanks. I thought you were vegetarian anyway. Yeah, I am. Most of the time. <laughs> Do you finish your painting? No, you don't finish them, you just abandon them. <laughs> well, I like it. it. Says something to me. I don't know what, but it does. Thanks. So how are you? Uh, how are you? No complaints. Cheers. Cheers. Is there anything I can do for you? How's mum? Those people she cleans for wouldn't work on an iron lung. Thank you. Thanks. Do you bring any pins? No. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe I'll move into the spare room. Why? I don't know, I just want to change my life or something. <laughs> you and Jack okay? It's just that sometimes he'd rather watch a nil all draw match than Jack's a good guy. You know, I mean, he's not Sean Penn or anything, but he's a good... He's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. It's not that I want to be a parent or a homeowner or anything yet. Maybe one day. 
just always feel like I'm in the wrong queue. You know, like in the supermarket. I'm standing in this queue that's moving really slowly. And there's this other queue over there moving really quickly. But I'm afraid that if I change queues, then that one will stop or slow down or close or something. And then I'll be worse off, so I just stay in this long queue. It's going nowhere. I still go down the bowling club once a week. Give them a bit of a hand with their bookkeeping. Jeez, those buggers are getting old. Right. They won't forget to put this in. No, all right. You remember that red and white jumper your mother knitted for you? You wore it to school the first day and came home without it. <laughs> yeah, well, that was primary school. Yeah, exactly. Dad, just, just give me the coupon. Do you want some coffee with your scones? What kind is it? It was on special. Is it instant? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's the one you usually drink. No, that's all right. It's OK. <laughs> so, if you did win lotto, what would you do with it? Huh. We've got Buckley's. we got everything we need now. You could buy a house in the country. <gasps> what for? Go to England, Europe, round the world trip, castles, pubs, breweries, <laughs> Disneyland. I'm not going to travel halfway round the world just to sit in a bloody oversized teacup. His name's Hunter. Hunter? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hunter. We were in art college together. We were good friends. Very good friends. Mm. So where'd you go? Motel. Oh, please, no. <laughs> we went to that trendy cafe up on the corner. You know where the milk bay used to be? Yeah, sterile. Mm. How's the food? I don't know. I didn't eat any. Didn't have any money. <laughs> we should have got him to pay for it. No, he, he didn't offer. Um, so, I was too embarrassed to ask. How are you? It's, uh, it's really, it's really good seeing you. It's really good. You look fantastic. <laughs> What's been happening, Mike? Treating you good? Yeah, not bad. I've just moved into a new place with some friends. And what about you? Are you still living in the old factory? <laughs> no. I've had a place in Darlinghurst for a few years now. Ah, one of those old Darlow flats. It's an apartment. Oh, an apartment. Yeah, the real estate banks to call it the, um, the Manhattan-style apartment. <laughs> you know what they're like. Uh, yeah, well, the difference between units, flats and apartments is the same as pants, slacks and trousers. So how'd things go so horribly right for him? Talent, hard work. <laughs> he was always off his face. I never thought he'd graduate. I thought he'd just die. Cool. I'm sorry. Nothing. <laughs> Hardly even know him now. Guess what? I'm in advertising now. I know, I know. I can't believe it. It just sort of happened. I don't know how it happened. Just fell into it. Just did a couple of graphic designs for a friend. One thing led to another. I am sounding like a wanker. I am sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. You don't. That's, that's great. No, I'm really happy for you. That's good. So have you done any ads that I might know? Did you, uh, did you see the ads for spring air? Spring air. You know, like uh, spring water, spring air. Spring air, that was yours. Yeah. It was made to be a novelty, and uh, now people actually buy the stuff. <laughs> spring air in a jar. Yeah, well, in a bottle. <laughs> um, I don't know. Actually, you know, 
with the campaign for the thing and can't quite work it out in a bottle. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I grew up with heaps of people like that. So now one minute they're squatting with a bunch of news eyes in a disused factory in Surrey Hills. Two years later they own it and they've turned it into a muse. How does that happen? The contacts, his family, his parents. The fact is, you have to choose your parents wisely. And if you're not born well connected, you have to become well connected. Networking. Everybody's networking. You just gotta network. I just can't do that. Yes, you can. Anyone can do it. Not me. Maybe he's become a Scientologist. Or a Mason. <laughs> can he show you the secret handshake? <laughs> <laughs> Something wicker this way comes. Sometimes I wish I could just sit here all day and watch the world go by. Sometimes I wonder why I walk so fast. You need to do something. For yourself. Go shopping, cut your hair, I don't know. Look, you're wearing two different shoes. Shit. Come on, Rex. There's the car guy. Good. Got to get that headlight fixed. Yeah. When? Next week. I'll see you when you get back. Take care. Hey, Ray. Thanks for the Barbie. Bye, Rex. That's the last we'll see about Barbie. <laughs> Don't forget. He will. Yeah, I, I just wanted to um, double check. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Right. Hey, Rex, how are you? Hello. What's all that about? Oh, just something I'm working on. You're home, Ellie? Yes, Daddy. So are you. I suppose you want to take Rex for a walk? Mm, didn't think so. Did the landlord come by? No? Well, if, if the landlord comes by, can you make sure he doesn't see the bathroom? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I'm going to finish it now. Oh, and I've got to edit my film this afternoon. Film? Yeah, it's only on Super 8, but, um, Kit's gonna show it at her exhibition. Alright. Well, do you, um, do you want some help? I've got some equipment I can lend you if you, um... Oh, no, it's fine, thanks. No, thanks, thanks. It's only short. You probably laugh at how bad it is.
garden looks great, Bev. Hey, backyard looks good. What's wrong? No. Yards yeah, council. That was quick. No, I sent that off a few months ago. I only put the latest one in the post this morning. Oh, in the uh, post box across the street. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad. Kid, it's great. It's really good. Love it. You always say that. Yeah, because your stuff's always great. But I want somebody who I don't know to say it. Yeah, but surely if you keep doing good work, they just can't ignore you. They? Who's they? I don't even know if I like what I do anymore. Well, at least you can do what you want. You can't make a film with 50 bucks. But we're talking about me for once. Hey, Frida Halo, wasn't she that, um, wasn't she that Spanish chick that painted pictures of women that looked like trannies? Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, if you didn't do this, then what would you do? Nothing. Then would you be happy? So? What do you want me to say? I'm a loser. Say the right thing, you know. I don't know what you want to say. I don't want you to say anything. It's okay. It's like I always say the wrong thing, we end up fighting. Right? Elizabeth, like 
Kiefer Pfeiffer. <laughs> and Kiefer Sutherland. Mm. Uh, these are for you, eh? I grew them myself. Oh, a box of chilies. You shouldn't have. Yeah, well, don't eat them all at once. It's okay. <laughs> okay, it's <buddy>. okay. <laughs> oh, got nothing to see here. It's okay. How's your meat? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have headlights? What do they, what do they expect to see? Us! <laughs> hey, what time is it? I suppose the only real reason we can still afford to live around here is because it's so blue. Yeah, and if the Nouveau Riche don't wipe us out, then the five ring circus will. Ah, but the airport was here before us. The airport <laughs> was here before us. And we do choose to live here, so we can't really complain, can we? What? Well, the planes, they have to land somewhere. <laughs> Go is it? Uh, mine, I think. Why should I put up with it? I never use the airport. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You went to Europe? <laughs> Did you go by boat? No, we flew. So? Okay, so I've used the airport once. Twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Twice, so who cares? Hey, you're in my way. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, right, they pretend to keep everyone informed, and that's just bullshit. Mrs B, she's lived next door for over 40 years. No one's ever told her anything. Very nice shot, Heather. Thank you. I still think it's pretty dumb. Is it my shot? And it's I still think it's pretty dumb having two protests on one day. I still think it's pretty dumb having two protests on one day. Yeah, but Jack, it's for two different things. One's for the aeroplanes, the other one's for the traffic. Oh, uh, hovercraft's still OK? <laughs> Someone's got to do something to shake things up a bit. I still think it's pretty dumb having two protests on in one day. Give me the what, where and when of these events. Um, I'm not sure, actually. No, we, um, we didn't think you'd be interested. Hey, I care, but I'm a realist. <laughs> Protesting mightn't change anything, but it is. Hey, put it out. Hey, you're in my way. Protesting mightn't actually change anything, but at least it's a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Shut up. If you want to keep your friends, never owe them anything and never lend them anything. I think I'm going to sleep up this end of the bed. Whatever these bloody Christmas lights are keeping me awake. Jeez, you're a grump, Jack. Well, it's July, isn't it? Yes. <coughs> and if you weren't so bloody lazy and fixed the Venetians, <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem, would there? I'm not lazy. No, you're not lazy. No. 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 Then why are there 15 glasses on your side of the bed? There's only four. Oh, there's only four. <laughs> there's only four. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Mmm, kinky. Um, I'm going to do my laundry. I'm running out of undies. Oh, you can borrow some of mine. Thanks. Right. So... She can wear your undies, but I can't use your toothbrush. Yeah. You ready? Let it tick. Come on, Rex. See ya. Oh. Have fun. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Good 
So, what did you see last week? Mm. What did I see last week? Ah. I saw two goths eating chocolate. One was eating dark chocolate and the other was eating white chocolate. What did you see last week? I saw a little girl sitting in a pram waiting out the front of a pawn shop with a big open bottle of beer. Guess you win. Nah. I think you'll win. Sport. Why is sport so popular? It's because everyone loves numbers. Most points, world record, fastest time, largest prize, highest score, biggest crowd. They count, because you can measure them. Points. There's a final score. The same end result for everyone. Simple. But if you couldn't just measure it, then you might have to think about it. Hey, you, um, you want to get some Thai? No, I kind of pigged out on wine and uh, finger food down at the gallery. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm sorry, I, um, I forgot. How was it? Um, Hey, hey, they, uh, got you a, uh, big flower. Oh, it's ease, actually. Oh, it's nice, yeah. How was the film? Different, you know. But everybody loved it, of course. Oh, good. Hey. Kit. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, fine. Uh, was that East film that was just on? Yeah. Yep. Damn. Is she around? No, she's not, actually. Excuse me. Sure. crowd? Everyone show up? No, actually, they didn't get the invites out on time, so it was just me and, um, Brett. <laughs> what did he do? Oh, she didn't turn up either. Really? Yeah, but she had a really good excuse. And anyway, she wouldn't admit it, but I think she was scared of watching her film in a room full of strangers. She 
He's wearing my shirt. Yeah, well, she lost all of her clothes. How? Well, she picked them up from the laundromat, then she left them at the tattooist. And when she went back, they'd all gone. What, well, even the camel cords? Even them. God. So you want to get some time? No. I'm going to go to bed. Hmm. Okay. How's Rex? Is he behaving himself? Yeah, yes, he's great. He yeah. took Jack for a swim the other day. <laughs> hey, leave those. I'm playing Joan here for a back rubber. Sorry. Hey, has he been in yet? Oh, no. No, he hasn't yet. No, he hasn't called in. Not yet. Right. Uh, they're probably working him too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's his last week and he's working harder than ever. His last week? Hey, Dina! Dina the Pablo! Pronto? Hello? Hello?
today. No, tea or coffee for you. No, thank you. Uh, excuse me. I would, thanks. Would like one. Tea and coffee for patients only? That's right. I'll have a white tea, one sugar. Thank you. Jack must be the only person I know who has both parents still alive and together. Yeah, I know. Hopefully it'll stay like that for a while yet. I'm going to put Pretty Ugly on the net. You want to help me design a website? Whose computer? Your computer. <laughs> yeah, isn't it great? Where'd you get it, Joey? Your dad? Yeah. He got it for my birthday. Oh. He reckons it'll help me at uni, help me get a career. <laughs> Don't know about that, but well, it'll help with the zine. So you two are getting along better now? No. Oh, I just thought if it's Me and Dad, you know, we're, we're different, that's all. He believes in secrets and I don't. But you'll still spend his money. Mm, wouldn't you? What's with you and the hobo from the wrong side of the tracks? Brett. Yeah. Hmm. In his dreams. <laughs> well, he was all mussy the other morning. Oh, yeah, he crashed in the spare room. Mm. Can't shake him. Hmm. At least Jack's CV is good for something. They can't make a whole lot of pollution and expect us to put up with it. What? <coughs> I said this protest is going to be great. Yeah. <coughs> like your new pants? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Except they're not new, they're kind of old, but, you know, they're new to me. Actually, I think they might smell a bit. What do you think? Yeah, they're all right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I've got to go home. So, kid baby, you seen taxi driver? No, I've never seen it. Are you seen taxi driver? Have I seen taxi driver? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it yet. You talking to me? Yeah, we are. What am I? <laughs> you haven't seen taxi driver? Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna. So, Lulu, what did you think of it? Oh, I thought it was excellent. I saw it when it first came out. Oh, yeah. So you would have been, what, eight years old? <laughs> Take this. It's one of Dad's cab charges. Are you sure? Yeah. See ya. Thanks. <laughs> I've bought some fresh food, and I thought maybe, just maybe, this time we can eat it. There are five basic food groups, you know. What was it last time? Mock duck? No, oh, thanks. I'm gonna wait out for Joey. Thought we'd get some takeaway. The kitchen's meant to be used for cooking. Why did we bother moving in the fridge? Nobody uses it. Having a shawarma one day, a kebab the next, and a gyros the day after does not constitute a varied diet. <laughs> we can't afford to eat takeaway all the time. How are we gonna pay the rent? Well, I thought you were going to pay it on your way to work. No, I think kit means the money. Like, where are we going to get the money? Hello? Is Jack there, please? Who? I am. Yeah, I think so, but he's tied up at the moment.
seen your dreams, buddy. You're up early? Yeah, I guess I am. Where's Jack? You can come home. No. What's he doing? Dunno. You don't know. think he's had an accident or something? No, I... If he had, he would have called or... The police or someone would have called. I haven't known him as long as you, but I'm sure there's some very simple, dumb explanation. <laughs> smart. Selling your work is great, but selling your work to your boyfriend is just sad. I'm afraid he's gone. <laughs> There. I don't run that well, but what's good? Oh, well, that's important. Of course it is. <laughs> How's the protest? No, it was cool. Yeah, it was great. We all got into the departure lounge and everyone was buying the stalls. And we made these paper planes, we threw them everywhere. Yeah. You want they some? took mm. this great polo to be. <laughs> 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 the big hairy armpit. I wish I'd been there. <laughs> anyway, it'll all be in the next issue of Pretty Ugly. Hey, but the best thing of all was the look on your dad's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was with all his Masonic mates, all suits. Then he was happy. Mm. <laughs> I think the nipple ring impressed him. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. Hey, Kitty, isn't that your car? What the fuck has Jack done with my car? What are you going to do? You're going to kill him. I'd kill him. How's it going, eh? Oh, not bad. Is the kid around? Ah, uh, she told me to tell you that you dropped. Hey, I'm Jack. This is Joey. Joey. Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Joey. We you meet last night? Yeah, at the studio. Yeah, you were on, um, you were on guitar? Yeah, and you were asleep. The walls weren't that badly burnt. Joey's man. Earth? Oh, we're dirt again. Actually, we're now the dirt, but it's with a small d and an exclamation mark. The dirt. We've been working on this ad together. It's been fun. How come you never told me about it? I didn't want you to think I'd sold out. Sold out? No way. Oh, yeah, I uh, got this for you. <laughs> Happy birthday. For me? Yeah. Hey, 
You don't like weirdo gypsy types around here. Jack, you're alive. Glad you can make it. That was great. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good. I nearly moved all your stuff into the spare room, but um, I cut my hair instead. So, uh, how's your dad? Did you go and see him? Are they feeding you all right? Hey. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I'm sorry I didn't come and visit you. I didn't find out. No, that's all right. I'm not complaining. Do you want me to, um, do you want me to carry that for you? <laughs> So, how do you feel? Oh, I could be laying around there all day, taking up space. All I needed was a breath of fresh air. Yeah, look at that. He has got his hat on again. So, so. <laughs> so, I wonder who won? Who won? What? Soccer. Mm, who cares? Well, I do. Okay, it was one nil in extra time. <laughs> to who? I don't know. They were wearing blue. Well, what kind of blue? Like light blue, dark blue, they have white stripes? Red socks, yellow socks. Jack, I don't know. I wasn't watching. I just oh. heard it. Come in, you old bastard. How are you hanging? Uh, not bad, but I'm as dry as a dead dingo's donger. <laughs> Struth, you scared all the Sheilas off. Mate, have a bit of that. Uh, Ripper, she's a bloody good drop. Yeah, just looking at the so, who's winning? I reckon those bloody rotten mongos will scrape by and win by preferences again. Yeah, crikey, those galahs couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. Yeah, they like our money and our electrical goods, but they don't like the look of us. Can't say I blame them. Where'd you get it? On the road. On the road? Hmm. Two? The shoot. The shoot? Hmm. The ad. What ad? I told you about the ad, didn't I? No. Yeah, I just thought for once I'd put myself in the right place at the right time. But it was, um, it's kind of embarrassing, mate. They treated me like a work experience kid. But the catering was good. I had a lot. So, you're a free man again. Got any plans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd cash in my redundancy and um, go on the dial and make a new film. Good.
Hey, um, did uh, Kit tell you what we saw today? No. We're sitting at the bus stop. And the Concorde flew straight over the top of us. Yeah, it was beautiful. It's like a big graceful bird, wasn't it? Yeah. It just looked up and there it was. Well, weren't you down at the airport this morning? Yeah, protesting about this sort of thing. Yeah, but this is the Concorde. Yeah, it's different. 